This recording is done using a Fostex AR-4i, which is currently the only, the only way to get stereo audio into an iPhone 4, and this device only works with an iPhone 4 at this point. Uh, the device has some really nice features like a little built-in level meter, uh, built-in level adjustment for the microphone and for headphone output, uh, so you can, you can control how loud the level is coming into your headphones for monitoring. It has a built-in uh, hot shoe for lights or things like that, which is kind of nice. Uh, it has two AA batteries, which it's a good thing and a bad thing. It doesn't suck any power out of the iPhone, but it also requires another set of batteries on the go. Um, and it has uh, three microphone inputs. It can only use two at once, but it has three inputs. Uh, you can have one on the top and bottom or right and left, however you have the device oriented, uh, or you can have it in another configuration. Uh, for me, I will probably be using the device more for podcasting and things of that nature. So I'll have two microphones independently plugged in, like a lavalier and a handheld or something like that. Uh, but right now I have them in an XY arrangement, so they're pointing in these directions around me, kind of getting some of that ambient sound uh, from this room that I'm in, which is not a very good room for audio, but it'll work. Um, and I'm going to show you a little bit more about the device itself, some of the hardware, um, and also show you uh, an example recording using two independent microphones instead of this XY arrangement or you could do other arrangements with the microphones. So uh, I, I, think it's, I think it's a good value especially if you need two channel recording since there is nothing else on the iPhone 4 that allows that and it's a pretty portable robust package. In this recording, I'm using my uh, little Radio Shack lavalier. Um, I would be using another microphone, but uh, I forgot to change the 9-volt battery in my Shure FB12, and I also forgot to uh, bring home the right adapter for my other microphone. So uh, I'm just using one channel here, and you can hear it's just in one channel on your speaker if you're listening in stereo. Uh, but it, this, uh, this Fostex unit also is a little bit of a mic preamp. So for this microphone, which is usually a little bit lower level, uh, the level is actually not so bad. There's a little bit of background noise introduced by the unit itself. Uh, the noise floor on it is a little bit higher than the iPhone's uh, noise floor if you plug straight into its headphone jack, its headset jack. Uh, but it's not so bad. Um, it sounds pretty good and you can always clean up the audio a little bit later. Um, and the next thing I'll show you is a little bit of a walkthrough of the device itself. The Fostex AR-4i is a relatively compact unit. Uh, in the front it has a space where your iPhone goes in, you just slide it in the top there. And uh, when you slide it in, the device will do its little boot up sync sequence and turn everything on. Uh, once it just has one green light, you know you're ready to go. On this side we have a few different uh, little features. There's the input volume, you can turn that up or down. Uh, it has the, the level indicator, that's four LEDs with a red for the clipping. It has two input jacks, input one and input two. Uh, this is for when you're using a device like this, you can put the microphones pointing out like that. It has a hot shoe for lights and things like that. Um, the hot shoe only is really helpful in this position. In this position, some of my, some of my devices are a little bit uh, flimsy, I think. Uh, and then on the, on the rear side, it has more jacks. It has uh, a headphone jack so you can monitor your audio levels, and the, the level control for that is right up here. It has a third input jack, which it's not really three inputs, it's two inputs and you can choose among the three. So if you're using it in a vertical orientation, you could have a microphone sticking out on both sides like this. Um, and on the back side, it has a battery door uh, where you replace the two AAA batteries um, so that doesn't sap your iPhone's power. And it has tripod mounts on both the, the uh, bottom for horizontal right here and the bottom for vertical right here. So you can mount it on a tripod two different ways. Uh, they also include with it a little uh, grip. It's a solid metal grip with a little rubber gasket on the top so it seals pretty well. And you can put that either on the bottom, and one, one of my complaints is that these tripod screws are a little bit finicky, and they're metal plastic, uh, mounted in plastic, which isn't the best. But you can put it on the bottom like this, or you can put it on the side, which now becomes the bottom, and use your, use your uh, iPhone for recording in this fashion. Uh, it looks a little clunky, but uh, for audio recording especially, it, it's pretty helpful. Uh, or if you're doing a, a little interview or something, you can hold it up for video. Uh, the microphones that it comes with are both uh, very small little 
microphones with little windscreens on them. Uh, in the ads, they have different configurations like this, an XY configuration, uh, where the microphones would be pointing out in an X and a Y. Uh, another configuration that they have is where you have one plugged in on each side like this. Um, I probably won't be using these microphones too much. I'll be using independent microphones kind of like I am in this recording uh, for interviews and things like that. But uh, the final thing that they include with it, besides an instruction manual, is a little bag for everything. It's nice. I don't know if I'll be using it much. But um, anyway, it's, I think it's, it's well worth the money. It's a pretty solid unit. One of the few complaints I have about it is uh, the fact that it takes a little muscle to pull the iPhone 4 out. And I don't like messing with my dock connector that way, but it's a pretty good device for um, under $200 and lets you record in stereo on the iPhone 4.